Hello, it's Dominique. So today I want to show you how to make the waterfall. Last time I made an album, it was the Toy Box album, I had made a waterfall and then I was not sure I would uh, succeed and uh, finally it happened. <laughs> it was good and uh, I really think that I've got the technique uh, good enough so that I can show you. I promised I would show you on the next project. That's what I'm doing right now. So what you have to do first, you have to uh, decide the size of your page so where you're gonna have the waterfall so this is my page so I've cut the backing or the matting of that page so we're gonna work on that before we glue that onto the page so let's put that away for now okay so what I'm gonna do first I've got to decide how many cards I want to put I decided the, this uh, project I'm working on uh, summer uh, summer dreams from uh, Echo Park so I've made all my little mats where the photos can be put on. I make sure they're all the right upright. Those who have upright design on them. So these are all upright now. What about this one? Yeah. Okay. So I decided to make eight. So because I decided to make eight, I made my the distance between each, between each three eighths of an inch. Last time when I did the uh, toy box, I did decided to put just the four, so I put uh, half an inch between all, all the, each of them. So once you've decided that, uh, you take a strip of paper, around 11 or 12 inches. You get a strip that is, I would say, at least an inch and a half, but you can go as wide as your uh, mats here. But I decided to go two inches. So what you do is you get your scoreboard. There's my scoreboard. So you get your scoreboard. And then you just score them 3 eighths of an inch, every single one of them. Here I made eight, because I'm having eight uh, little cards. So you, you fold them all, but the thing is that you have to fold the last one and see how long your the, the strip is going to be because you're going to kind of pull on that and it has to go like that. So it has to be within the space of your page, of course. Now what you do, here I got uh, regular cardstock because I want to mat it. Because this would be too soft. I think uh, it has to be a little sturdier than that. So what I did is I decided to take the regular cardstock and mat it. So this is what I'm going to do right now. So this is this piece here. Don't have to put a lot because you don't want it to be too stiff. Because if it's too stiff, then your cards won't fly. It won't fold. I mean, the cards will just flap, flip and flop and flap around. But this has to be sturdier than just a regular cardstock. Okay, so you do that. So you've done that, you have to kind of let it set a little bit. Then all the, the lines that you've scored and folded, you have to fold them again. So you have to fold them going on your uh, design paper. So you do, you do all of them. And if you use heavyweight cardstock, you cannot add anything on top of it, it's going to be too stiff and the pages won't fold. I mean this band here, the strip will not fold and then your cards don't flip and flop around. Right, one more. So I've got them all here. Okay, so what you do, you fold them, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue those onto your page, I mean onto your strip, one at a time. So I like to use my mat here because I can find a straight line here and then I can have my, my cards square. So what you do is you put a little bit of glue here, not too much, and then you have to find the center and you just put it just on the edge of the fold. If you see your fold, that's perfect. You have to see it a little bit. Otherwise it won't flip right. And this is pretty much centered. Just a little bit less. So I have to push it a little bit. Like this. 
you can mark your center and everything to make sure that it's right but mine because I have the eye for the straight I don't need to okay then what you do is you flip like this and then you do the next one you make sure it's nice and folded and also what you can do is uh, the one that you want to be in the front you can keep for the last this is the one that's going to be no this is the one that's going to be there that's okay because it's the same as this but it's smaller because I use the 6 by 6s here and this is 12 by 12 so I like to have the same as this one so I'm gonna go with the next one so just glue just on that little strip of uh, in this case it's 3 eighths of an inch don't have too much glue because then it's gonna smear now what you gotta do is put everything really square and make sure that your card is Align with it and you can still see the fold here then you press on it and you keep doing that for every single one of them and when you do that the, the, the scoring it's very important that you use the scoreboard because sometimes we use the, the paper trimmer and you put your sheet and then you score on the line here but you don't want to do that with that because you have to be really really square otherwise your cards will be all crooked which you don't want that. Next one. It's always upright. See the fold? Right straight here, nice and square. The other one, you can fast forward this part if you want to. I cannot do that with my camera. I don't have the latest uh, technology camera. So I have to make sure they're all upright, nice and square. If you align them with the other cars, you'll be good. Make sure you see your fold here. I was struggling having them square when I started making them and also with the way that I attached them to the page was not right so I had a hard time doing it right that's why I never wanted to make a, a video of it I mean a tutorial of it but now that I know exactly how to do it finally figured it out then I can do a tutorial and show you so you can make some because they're really easy as you can see easy and fun especially after they're done like people really love waterfall cascades oops this one is supposed to be glued here make sure it's square and this one here Don't put too much glue so it doesn't smear because then it doesn't look too good because all your cards are stuck where they shouldn't be see the fold here to this now before the glue is I'm gonna check to see if those are right this one here is crooked and you see they're all the same distance because you're really really going up to the fold and following your so far so good next one When you fold those, if you're not sure that it's square, you have to readjust. Make sure they're square with the line right here. See the fold here. Last one. This one has a little bit of glue probably that's uh, on the bottom because I was too far from my my line so I have to readjust and make sure that the glue is not 
glued on to this here. I need to add a little bit of glue. So that's that's what it is. So then you got all of them here. Now what you do is you decide where you're gonna have your page. It's gonna be just like this. And what you do, this strip here, this is a strip that I've cut larger than my matting and I fold it so that it's the same width as the let me get this the matting right here you can see here and not too tight because this has to go underneath and this is going to glue, be glued on to the last page and the way to do this is I want this to be I want this this little corner uh, right here. This is the top corner is going to be the lowest one. So when you do your waterfall, you want that corner to be within. Okay, because I have so many, it's not working. But you'll see that it's. If you have less, you want the first card corner to get within this here. What I could do is I could make it um, not as wide, so that the last card would be right there. See. That's how I should do it. But uh, I think I'm going to try another way. I'm going to have it at the edge of the card here. And because it's wrapped around, and I think it's going to be uh, here. It's going to be underneath here. Let's see if it goes underneath. Before I glue anything on, let's see if it's going to go underneath. So I'm going to hold the last page, last card here with my two fingers. Gonna grab this here and check it to see if everything is working well. See when you get to the last one, it kind of bangs here. So if this is held like this, it's gonna go underneath. So let's try and see. So I'm gonna do that onto here. And my card. And it has to be pretty much centered as much as you can I'll put it right on the edge now I'm gonna hold it here and see what happens see it goes underneath the last one here doesn't go because it's not glued right here. So I'm going to add some glue here. It has to be really up to the edge. That glue, otherwise it splits. It doesn't go underneath. It's going to be like this. So it's going to go underneath, as you can see. So now that I'm done, I've done that, it's nice and square, same distance. So then I'm going to glue that behind my cart. And make sure it's high enough here and low enough. You have to have at least, I would say, a sixteenth of an inch here or an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to add a little button to pull on it. You could add a little piece of string or a ribbon, whatever you want. So I'm just putting that here. I'm just putting that on there. And here I have, it's nice that I got this paper because it's it's got lines here. So I can just follow the lines and I'll be right, just just right. And then what I'm going to do, because this is a little wider, I'm going to use the stool here and just kind of make a gusset here. It's going to help it to be away from the, car, the the matting so that when I flip them, there's going to be more space. See? Easy enough. You can leave it like this, but I think it's a little catchy, like it's going to catch on pages whatever so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece of uh, ribbon I'm gonna tie it underneath here uh, I'm gonna get uh, this one here yellow very summery so I'm gonna get two a long piece and I'm just gonna fold it underneath so pretty much the center it's gonna be here Here too, I have some uh, 
things that are straight with the line so it's easy to follow. So just right here at the bottom of the cameras. Maybe like this. And then this is going to tie on top right here. Is that long enough? Yeah. It is. I'm good. Just, just could have done bigger. So this is it. And then where you have your page right here, you just glue that onto here. So when you open it, you have a button here to pull on it. For now, I'm just going to hold it like this. So it just goes like this. So here they can put a picture or just leave it like that and put a picture on this side. How neat is this? So that was it. That was my tutorial for the waterfall cascade. Hope you make some. They're so easy that I think I'm going to make one for every single album I'm going to make now because it's the easiest way to do it. By the way, I didn't follow a tutorial. I did follow a tutorial uh, three years ago when I started, but I kind of changed a few things on it and it's working really well. So that's the way I'm going to do it from now on. So hope you have fun making them. Until next time, see you. Happy scrapping. Thank you for watching.